It's the program. Hey, viewers. Yeah, who's going to say hi? If you say hi to the program, who's going to answer? Hey, listeners. How we doing today? We're on TV and the radio. Once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines and we start talking. And it's true for an hour. That is the true thing. <laughs> what else is true? You know, some things are hard to know, but that is something that we know. Uh, you know, maybe we want to start off the show every day and say things that we know. And then after that, you know, we say things that we know a little bit less and less and less. And maybe by the end of the show, we don't even know anything. And, you know, but that's what we think. But oh. then at the end, by the end of the second show, oh. where do we go from there? And we're on episode like 13, 50 something. So what do we even know anymore? Oh. Oh. It's thurs Thursday? Is that today? No, no, it's Friday. It's Friday. Oh, man, I thought it was Thursday. It's Friday, Friday, yeah, so... Uh, no, I, I'm uh, I'm picking up a, a dog um, tomorrow, and uh-huh. I'm doing a little bit of dog sitting for someone. Oh, okay. Uh, of, yeah, so she wants me to... Uh, n- n- sh- no she'll probably the come, come on the program uh, tomorrow. Ooh, Watch the dog? That. Yeah. Hey, a dog. Yeah. On Saturday. That's not Charlie. What number does uh, it's babe? What number ba- does babe get? I don't remember. Of uh, Nintera. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, you, no more babe stuff. No more calls dog well, babe anymore. I, yeah, I, I, you know, um, I, I think that I, I should just kind of learn the dog's name. I think you know, so. The, the pr- correct pronunciation and whatnot. You and having a hard time saying Terra? Uh, yeah, l- like, um... You um, saying Tara? Well, well no, no, when it's one R, then it's obvious, but when it's two R's, is it like, is, is it... Tara? T- you know, Tabura. is it a longer R than... Tara? Yeah. Like a dog? Tara! Right, so I'll, I'll you know... N- not Tara, 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 it's like... To co- fully be respectful of, of, you know, names and whatnot. Of and dogs' names? In, in people's names. Cause What's the difference between Tara and Tara? What if somebody started calling you Carol? How would you I, feel about I, that? I, I would still respond to that because I, I have this, um, you know, mental capacity of being a, um, a caveman, right? No? What is, I don't know what that has to do with oh, anything. Is this the, the improv comedy No, 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 no. Well, no, uh, I guess it might be a little bit, but, you know, Carl, you know, it's like a... You know, like what you would say about, you know, people grunting and whatnot. Like, what? Carl, you know, it's, you like, it's like kind of guttural, like, Carol. you know, it's, you know, grunting and, you know, wanting to make cave paintings and, and dance around campfires and inside the caves and whatnot. I don't I, I want to do all that stuff. Well, um, maybe we can... Re- uh, Let's unplug all of our electronics and do that. Yeah. Go into a cave. Unplug the electronics and go into a cave. Next week or next year. I'm a little bit worried about... Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, lighting a fire in a cave, it seems a little bit dangerous. Like, you could get possibly carbon monoxide poisoned or something. Oh, well, yeah, but if you have proper ventilation, which... I guess that there's some use for electro- electricity or whatnot, but... Those cave people, they knew how to use ventilation? Uh, I, I guess the that fire they cave? just... Yeah, the, I think they made their fires outside. Do you think they put them in the cave? Well, the, the, they they could have put it right at the entrance of the cave. Oh, yeah. That may, maybe they did that. I thought they put it outside the cave. I'm trying to think of cartoons and stuff where I see cavemen. Usually I think they're outside the cave, but... I don't know if that's historically accurate, and how would they even know? Well, we, we don't usually rely on cartoons for historical accuracy. Look at that's, Bugs Bunny. That's the only... I mean, well, <laughs> cartoons that Bugs are... Bugs Bunny. <laughs> yeah, cartoons that are supposed to be, like... Mm, uh, Sorry. Mm, non-fiction cartoons, you know, like a, they're I, depicting the past kind of thing. You know, not, not just like absurd animal-talking animal kind of things. Right, well, I, I'm going to... Uh, be totally serious throughout the rest of the program. Oh, yeah? You can count on it. Or it's not. No, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, man. I already, was... uh, I, I, already you failed when you laughed just right now, Carl. Ugh. Oh, no. You tried to be serious for like a minute and it didn't work. 
and I couldn't even pass a second. Well, it's hard if you're trying really hard to be serious. That's like a then you're being too serious. You know, you're supposed to just natu- relax into seriousness. If you're going like, I'm serious, you know, that's like a joke anyway. To the password hasn't changed. Something's gone wrong. We're getting it to go though. It's gonna maybe it'll take a minute. We'll have to figure this out. Uh, y- you see uh, anything on the streets there in the last day or so? I attended Evergreen graduation. Uh, that was yeah. kind of awesome. Who's the speaker? Uh, oh, uh, 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 she she was the uh, Green Party president um, in 2004 and 2008. Hmm. I want to say Winona Duke or something. But uh, it's connected, but it's not. Oh, there it goes. So um, uh, she she was talking all about the sustainability and and uh, I actually uh, did an audio recording when she spoke and um, I'm gonna upload that to uh, SoundCloud because I I think that's easier. You like than, the Green Party? Well, I I think it's well each, uh, sure in, in one political sense or another. But you in, know, try to break up that two-party system that some people argue it's just a two-handed puppet show. You know, you know mm-hmm. two-handed mm-hmm. puppet show coming from one. Oh, well, I think no matter how person. many how many parties in the system, it's still going to continue the puppet show. Well, m- maybe. We need sure, a puppet maybe. show. I you, you know which. I don't get. I don't understand what's happening. Do you really understand what's happening behind the scenes? Because uh, I don't get it. That's why I need that puppet show to tell me what to do. You know. Oh, well, maybe, maybe that's the, a cogent thought or whatnot, but, uh, so, I don't know. I, I took 172 pictures, and and the, um, I uh, forced myself to take a, a number of duplicates, because, uh-huh. um, uh, You didn't want you, to? Well, the, you only get one shot when you take that shot, so why not make another shot, you know, just so that you can get a good shot that's not blurry or whatever. Uh, and so you said your phone out taking pictures all the time? Uh, yeah, I, I purposefully reset my phone the day before just so that I would have plenty of memory. Um, uh-huh. For the, pictures? The, uh, yeah, for photography and, and, and uh, audio recording and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, you really think it's photography when you're taking pictures of your phone? Does it count? Is it still photography? Of uh, the... Oh, uh, well, it's it's using the camera lens. Yeah, maybe is that what counts? It's possible. I, the reason for resetting the phone, and this this is, uh, you know, this is kind of like another swipe at Apple, you know. Um, Take this. Like the, uh, you know, the problems that I have with Apple's don't genius you, don't, no, don't feature. even say the words. I think that you're promoting, you're giving promotions. But yes. No, no, no. Okay, I, I'm uh, encouraging yeah, yeah. people not to buy Apple. Uh, Come on, man. Not to buy what? Not to buy Apple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Keep repeating it. That's that's all you need to, for advertisement. It doesn't matter. Well, it's I'm like, don't call me, but uh, uh, I guess maybe by saying don't call me, you're... What? Don't call me? Well, encouraging phone calls. But yeah. anyway, um, I... Uh, uh, the... Other space on on mobile Apple mobile devices can um, swell up, and and the only way that I see you know to remove them easily is just to wipe the phone, uh, but back it up beforehand. So uh, it, it's it's uh, definitely a chore, and I'm not too happy about it, but. Uh, um, I'm sure Apple won't improve itself enough, so that's why I say, don't buy Apple products. Don't don't. Get well, there's better things to be using as cameras for sure than the phone. Well, the, yeah, you you could uh, someone you, you know like the they had a um, uh, like a um, Clark Kent or Peter Parker style um, photographer there, you know, w- with a, like a long lens and whatnot. And yeah, that guy was taking enough pictures and he thinks so. And, well, the, uh, for, uh, uh, for w- within, um, Evergreen's use, uh, this person had a Evergreen college staff badge on her, and so I was like, um, yeah, that, that's good. You, you know, any, any publicity that 
they can give to themselves is probably a good thing. Time for the dice game. It is. We're going to get is. out a pen. We're going to write a number down on our hands between one and six. One and six. We're going to try to visualize the future. You see that pen anywhere? we got to find a pen. I don't want to use like the gray one, the gold one. There's got to be a other one somewhere. Oh, here. Here we go. Okay, I'm, I'm visualizing here. You go first. I'm trying to visualize. Uh, see if this works out. Thinking. Visualizing. Is that working? No? No, not working? We need to find another pen. It's f very faint. Is that what you... It's working if you, uh, it's just very faint. It's dried ink. Alright, I got a number. I wonder if the dollar store sells pens. I think so. Maybe it would be worth a trip. Yeah. Are you ready? Not, not just for the program, but, you know, for myself, because I'm running out of pens. Every yeah, once pens from the dollar store are probably the worst pens you can get, but that's why everything from the dollar store, I guess. Well, um, sure. Uh-oh. Okay, I guess I wasn't totally prepared, but, um, oh, oh. Here it is. Well, Here we there go. You, there you go, Kenny. That was awesome. I Fix it. need to use camera two. All right. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it was, it was uh, a little fake out there, though. You see the little fake out? I'm like, what is it? where did it go? I thought you did a magic trick or something. Uh, it's a one, though. I lost. Did you uh, win? Uh, no, I needed three more. Oh, me too. I oh, the same what? number again. Oh, no. Well, okay. Uh, fair enough. You have a four. I have a four. <laughs> I think we're trying to, we're, yeah, now we're just trying to win or lose and maybe play against other people. We picked the same number again, but we think it was just four. I think it was four yesterday, too. Uh, here's the message. It's from your friend Joe from the place there. That's awesome. Hey, how Joe. Many, how, how many messages did we go through with Mr. Ginsu yesterday? Is I don't that know, a five? Lot. Maybe Six? more, probably more. Wow. Well, if they're three minutes long, we can fit actually 10, 30. We could fit 30 in there, right? <clears throat> well, right, no. but we, we had to have a little bit of discussion between our, yeah. ourselves. 20. You could fit 20 in there if you if they were back to back, so. Probably something close to that, 17. Oh. Really, Carl's friend from Board Game Afternoon. Hi, this is Joe Really, Carl's friend from Board Game Afternoon. Additional addendum about environment and social justice. Generally, if you're poorer, you have to use, or you don't have to, but you tend to use public goods, uh, such as parks, for your free time. Um, I think when the economic downturn happened a while back, people started camping more. Um, and so if the environment's polluted, you get, you get impacted by that further. Further, if you're poor, you oftentimes might work outside if you have a job, or you might have to live outside if you're homeless. So uh, having a bad environment is disproportionately worse for uh, the if you, the less money you make. Well, or um, not conducive to a positive Everything. life. So today's topic, I was thinking Everything about is worse teachers poor. Yeah. and how, how not important a positive they are. Life. And I was wondering... Um, what if you had a favorite teacher and what you think makes a good teacher a good teacher um, and whether or not you're a teacher and yard sticks on the coals no uh, <laughs> hitting uh, people violence that's what makes a good teacher on your youtube page i was wondering since you're not getting money from the advertisements how much would it cost yeah we are uh, how much in donations for you to take those down because it's not hard to do, you just need to click a box, I think, and um, they're, they're just annoying. They don't really give you anything, so I don't know why you keep having advertisements, but I'd be willing to pay you some money 
to take them down. Really? So, and then you get money out of the out of not <laughs> Man. advertisements, which oh, is boy. better than the no money you get for having advertisements okay. on your YouTube. Uh, wow, this um, kind of is sorry. going... Hope you're having a great Friday. I don't know what the theme is. I would love to talk about that. Hope you're having lots of fun. Bye! <laughs> Yeah, maybe we can tell Joe what the theme is somehow. We could, e like, email him the calendar or something. Uh, but yeah. of, the theme today is boats. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, you, you were talking about un unfilling the sail and whatnot during the last five or three minutes of last night's program or something like Unfurl that. Unfurl your sails and get ready to sail on the boat day. Uh, so, I am Gilligan, yes I am. No. What's that song? Uh, well, it's not, it's not a, a song. I, I was just, um, uh, Gilligan's Island, you know? Um, that's not the Gilligan's Island song. Yeah, well, n no, it's not, but I, I was, like, doing, uh, kind of like, uh, um. Is that what comes to mind when you think of boats, then? Of Gilligan. Yeah, Gilligan. Um, Did you watch that show? You know, no, I didn't. So maybe but, I should not. But you know speak about it, about then, huh? Gilly. I yeah. watched just some of it. Well, I, 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 I played the video game a lot. Gilligan's what? Island, the video game. Really? There's yeah, a there's a video, video there's game. There's a video game. It's an NES video game. NES. Nintendo original Nintendo. I played Man. a lot of that game as a as a child. Dun, uh, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I don't know why I had the game. Uh, how many hours did you spend playing that? Was it just as much as Mario? It was probably if, if Mario was the most popular game. It was you probably played. a lot as uh, of the, as Gilligan's Island. I probably Dang. is long. Maybe I, n I never knew that Gilligan's Island ever existed as a cartridge for you know a Nintendo, yeah. the original sixty-four. Uh no, it's uh, original the original Nintendo game there. Yeah, but I mean, it was it you know for the sixty four. It was system. not no no. It was for the old one. Oh, the so original. I'm just, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, shows you how much I had Nintendo in in um, back in the day when it was out. But what about boats? Did you have boats? Uh yeah, my my father had had a boat. It was kind of like a lemon. They, um, uh, what they did, um, uh, I, I guess it was kind of like a rich couple, and, and they sold it to my dad, and the rich couple was somewhere in the, in the, um, Seattle area, and, um, they, uh, the, the boat had holes in the, um, hull, and, and, uh, um, when, 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 you, uh, when you put holes, or when you stuff the holes with uh, with putty or whatever, that that's you know nice window dressing, but that's not very effective. In in terms of you know if you have it outside the the um, the water for a, a certain period of time, then the the hole, uh, the hole holes. Right. The hole, holes in the hole. The holes in the hole. And in the hole? Yeah. The in hole the, hole. Uh, <laughs> try saying that five times fast, yeah. And so the putty would be, would uh, shrink or there were big cracks in the putty or whatever else. And then you, it's like you didn't really patch it up at, at all once you had it outside the water for like a year or whatever. And my parents had to eventually just junk it or they sold it or whatever i i don't even remember what happened to the boat specifically but it was um uh no uh i traveled um uh, my grandmother drove me up i believe uh from olympia to billingham and then my parents went up to um Nine. billingham by boat and I'll finish the rest of the story Nine, after four, info time. Three, two, one. Now it's info time. Here are answers to some frequently asked questions about the program you're watching right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with me. It's a call and television talk show on the radio that's recorded right here in Thurston County every day. 
every day of the year. It airs uh, every night at Channel 22 at 11.30 p.m. and Low Power FM at 2 a.m. Each episode airs a week after it was taped, so you're watching this at 11.30 p.m. This episode taped the same weekday of the previous week. If you uh, are watching or hear this program on the radio, uh, uh, the uh, 2 a.m. This episode taped the last year. Um, I guess that's right. You hear this program on 2 a.m. Anyway, um, uh, thanks for calling. And now back to the program, which, by the way, the number is 836-4384. Area code 360. So, and, uh, um, we rely on the community for content. So give us a call at that number, and I don't know. Do zero eight dog dog. Don't oh, yeah. call me. Leave me alone. Yeah, leave us alone. We don't like phone calls. No more phone calls. <laughs> I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> Hi, kitty. This is it Dan? He's only back. Hi. He, he, the, that transcript uh, of that phone is actually uh, really wrong. Totally it's wrong. Kind of fun. It says uh, something about usually been expired or something like usually that. Usually about expired. I think Dan is probably sleeping right now. That was someone called. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if he's going to answer. I was going to say the voicemail of Dan Dobler is full and it cannot accept messages at this time. Yeah, it might say that. If you'd like to. Uh, leave a callback number. Please plus five. The mailbox belonging to oh. Dan Dobler is full and cannot accept new messages at this time. To leave a callback number, press five. Or please try again later. Oh, I forgot the. Or please try again later. <sighs> you have yeah. re- the voice That's... mailbox of Dan Dobler is full and is not accepting messages at this time. If you would like to leave your callback number. Press five, or try again later. Hang up and try again later. I don't know. Hang up and try again later. I almost got to say at the end. Uh, some spooky is happening. Yeah, hopefully it's not coming from my music. I did turn it off, and I don't have music. Woo! That goes like that anyway. You don't make spooky music. Well, I do, but. I I don't even know if I have it encoded it in 320 kilobits per second. You know, I I want to be nice to my ears. So you only listen to high quality music. Yeah, I I can't. I, I'm not going to handle a low lower bit rate than 320 kilobits you, per second. You think you could tell the difference? Well, it, uh, my ears can probably tell a difference after a while. I started getting ear aches or headaches or whatever, and and so. Um, yeah. The I, higher bit rate didn't give you a headache? N- no. <laughs> the lower bit just gives you a headache. Why, why do you think that is? Well, uh, it's like somehow like, um, uh, like, uh, nails on the chalkboard sort of encoding, I guess, or whatever. I, I don't know what that is, but... I don't, I don't think it was given. That's not... You were getting headaches for another reason. I think it's a placebo effect. I don't think you could tell the difference what? in there. I don't think your headaches could... Could be involved with this. Well, I I had quality. A, the quality of your music can't give you a headache or not. I had an iPod Shuffle and I just had to stop listening to it because it was like um, it gave me earaches. Um, Maybe it was your iPod Shuffle and not the the low quality kilobyte music. No, well, the, uh, the, I I did Google research about this and mm-hmm. you know people. It's not just a phenomena that um, they said that low, po- low I experience low power or low quality music gives you people headaches. Well, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the getting headaches or earaches from um, uh, from music coming from Apple's players. Uh, oh yeah, it was um, uh, somewhat of a you know. Like yeah, that I mean that'll give you a headache just because you're using those little things and they're going right into your head, but that's not. Caused by the by the low quality music that's caused by any music. Okay, well maybe. Well, anyway, uh, I I cho- choose a higher bit rate, and so that's why I 
need to have um, um, a storage device that is like 16 or 32 uh, gigabytes in storage space. I think least. you should maybe listen to a lower quality. I bet you can't tell the difference. You can fit more onto your thing. I, I don't want to fit more onto my thing. You want, you're happy with the amount you can fit? Yeah, well, yeah. I, I, you, you know, uh, this um, making the, uh, you know, this uh, current playlist that I'm working on, you know, like uh, Motley Crue or Megadeth or, you know, what, whatever that song that is high tempo is like, you know, I can cross genres from one song to another and it's I um, I I was some of the trance music that I was listening to you know two three weeks ago was getting so overheard and I was like yeah but what about that other song that doesn't have a genius playlist um, um, you, you know siblings to go along with the song you know uh, I would have a certain song play and it says I'm sorry, we can't find um, um, enough songs to go w with this song to make a genius playlist. You, you know, so I don't buy Apple products. All right. You know, just go with uh, go go with something that is uh, somewhat more standard. I, I mean, unless you like paying for expensive stuff. Some people do. They buy like diamonds. Why else would you buy diamonds instead of like buying expensive stuff? Looks like Bird is scheduled for the broker room tomorrow, and we're gonna be calling Bird next. Well, we're cubic home. zirconium is is the you know you can't really tell the di difference between cu cubic zirconium and diamonds, can you? I can. I wouldn't care. I would you know yeah. be fine with like plastic, but um, yeah. some people want to buy well, those diamonds. Yeah. Looks like tomorrow is carrots day with Bird. And we have a uh, orange carrot drink. Hey, you reached Freddie Dilber. I can't come on to the phone right now. Gold. But if you give me a nice message, it. then Maybe I'll try to call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Well, huh. hey, Freddie, it's the program. Hey, I've, I was just so that was so amazing run, running across you um, before the program. Amazing. Maybe last night, you know. So um, anyway, you can call us back. You have about. 31, 32 minutes. Yeah. We're out of tapes. We need to get tapes. How's the production on going? How you doing? And all that jazz. Neener, neener, neener. Is that jazz music? I think so. <laughs> Fair enough. Neener, neener. <laughs> neener, neener. Neener. Jazz. Man. Jazz. I think Jasmine, they, they, Which they say, I'm inspired they to see if I can find any, you know, high tempo jazz music on ne my, you know, desktop computer as well. Nina, 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 jazz, jazz, <laughs> oh, jazz. Man. Uh, here we go. It's called, whoa. It's called Bird. I'm going to say, hey, Bird. How you do? That's right. <laughs> uh. I wonder how I do. I bet I'm tired. That's me. <sighs> well, that's my my burn impression. Well, 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 oh, man. Who's on the phone? Nobody. Hello. Hey, hey, Bird, it's you're the talking program. To us, and it's not an answering machine. Wait. Hola, como oh, esta? I love the program. Como esta? Hola, Very como well, esta? <laughs> oh, man. You're scheduled <laughs> to be here tomorrow. Ooh, excellent. How about 9.30? I can go earlier. Nine? Okay. Nine o'clock? Uh, is that a work day for you? It, it's a work day for me. Uh, okay, well, nine o'clock it will have to be. Nine o'clock, Bird? That sounds great. Tomorrow is uh, Carrots Day. Cool. Cool. So m maybe you should grab some carrots or great. whatever. Oh. 
Excellent. Hey, look. Maybe I'll have to grab some carrots. It's the I time for the carrots. No carrots, like like uh, the food. Not not the bird. Oh. Or, or the plant, or not the bird. Not not the bird. Hey, it's time for the second dice game. <laughs> uh huh. You so want a, you what want a number? number? Do you want? Um, I don't know. Yeah, give me a four. Oh, all right. Oh, let's, uh, everybody, every, that's what me and Carl have also. So no, everybody's got the four. Wow. We're hoping for some diversity from the callers, but right now it's not happening. Everybody's got a four. So it's just pretty much are we gonna win or lose total? Oh, no, we didn't win yet. We're still having one. Maybe Charlie. Yeah, you can really roll those things up, you know? Shake them up. Get a, get a good feeling. Today is boats day, and I, I know you like uh, for those boats, or I don't know, you don't like the boats, but you're, what, interested in them? What would you say? Boats? Boats. You're always watching those boats. Ships? I think you almost don't <laughs> like, it's like you don't like boats. Like, like... No, I love boats. I think you have a thing. I, I don't know. Great. I don't know. I think you have a thing against boats. Just not barges, right? You're against Big barges. Boats. I'm just really interested in the impacts of the industrial uses of, you know, big ships and stuff like that. Uh-huh. It's boats day. Is impacts that... of industry. Boats day. Boats. Yeah, I'm, I'm just uploading a photo boat that's currently in the port right now, Sun Ruby. Sweet. Uh, saw it today, loading a log or two. Timber? Mm -hmm. It's taking timber from Washington State to China. When was the last time you were in a boat? Last time I was in a boat? <laughs> yes. It's been too long. I love boats. Just get in a boat, um, okay. Yeah. It's been a while. What, what was it taking timber from uh, China? Maybe a couple of years. What was it taking timber from? Um, is it taking timber from the state of Washington to China? Um, timber from the state of Washington to. I was in a kayak more recently. Um, <laughs> yeah. Where were you in a kayak? The, yes. Where? Yes. <laughs> oh, what man. day? What? What, Carl? I think that was last summer, What's the too. Yeah, well, we're asking Bird two questions at once. Oh, what's the other one? <laughs> what are we going to do on our field trip? I forgot. What, what's what the field we trip? What we wanted to do? I'm not going on any field trips. Um, We're going to a field. No, we're talking. And we're going we to shoot, you know, Wednesday. pictures of crickets. We did? I don't remember. we got to check the tape. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> let's, let's some kayaks. Did you go into this Puget Sound? Did I look at the Puget no, Sound? Did you ride a kayak in the Puget Sound? Because I think it's gross. You think it's gross? The Puget Sound. The whole thing? Um, most of it, yeah. Yeah. Especially, I mean, the part around here. Well, well, it's only gross because human beings make it gross. Well, so? It's still gross. I think it's pooping it. So, I... Have you well, been swimming I, in it? In order to Poop. sew, I would Poop. need a thread and needle. Oh, and homonyms. neither. Homonyms. That's a homonym, <laughs> Carl. I'm t talking about the other meaning. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, uh, homonyms. What, what, bird? Hello out there in TV land. Great. Well, hey, Bird, do you have anything else to say today? We'll see you tomorrow. TV land is a different okay. channel. Try to stick to... Okay. Okay, goodbye. Yeah. Thank you. There he goes. That was Bird. Thanks, Bird. <sighs> what is happening today? <laughs> is it... Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. Isn't, isn't there, like, a lot of things happening, though? There's, like... Yeah, helicopters and then... <laughs> Helicopters oh, and like <laughs> spooky noises, and I think somebody was knocking. And then there's a beeping guy down the street. People are out horns. tonight, huh? Horns. Horns. Yeah, I think I think people are out tonight. Something's gonna go. I feel a I feel a ruckus uh, up the foot. <laughs> well, 
let's hope that you know it's not you know a premonition of something. Yeah, I'm feeling a, ru- a premonition of a, some kind of ruckus. Oh man! <laughs> uh, should I, I be r- laughing at that? Um, no. No, don't laugh. Don't laugh Carl. at the ruckus. Yeah, um, things are serious, Carl. Well, I don't know if they're how serious, but I said I said no. Look out for the ruckus. Uh, the, I'll I'll be looking out for a ruckus. Yeah. About uh, anything on the news? You see any new news? Or uh, well, th- this is program news. I I was, I haven't changed from you know when I put on these clothes around uh, ten o'clock this morning. Mm-hmm. You know, because I was kind of lazy and I went straight from Evergreen State College to basically um, having dinner and then I showed up on the program here. So, um, yeah, it's it's been an interesting uh, day, I guess, um, seeing familiar, familiar faces at Evergreen State College and um, uh, yeah, just kind of, I'm interested in, in just seeing how the uh, you know, the, my pictures turned out, you know, it probably would be only like 150 if I took 172. Did I say that? 172 pictures? 150 of them is the ones that would be usable f- for me to upload to Facebook. Uh-huh. And just kind of, you know... What the other 12? Not Facebook worthy? W- well, the, the the other 12 are just like reshots, you know, you know like... Why not uh, put them both? Well, well uh, it would be redundant, you know, like, I don't want to put up something that's blurry. It's, uh, Freddy. Hey. Hello. Freddy. Program. What's going on? Um, not much. We're on TV and the radio. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing good. What's the, uh, what's the daily theme today? It's uh, boats. Oh, boats. Cool. When was the last time you that's were in a great. boat? Uh, I was in a boat, let's see, last, um, man, when was the last day I was in a boat? It was not too far ago, wait, let me, there was, the other person who was in the boat was here too. Okay, we were in the boat last Friday. Oh, was it last Friday? Last Friday. Wow. Last Friday. I, I always, uh, think about putting... Just like a bunch of getting a bunch of like milk jugs and tying them to wood and then making a raft of some sort. Oh, like a raft. Yeah, that's a good idea. Were you um, yeah. paddling around in in the uh, uh, the the, uh, uh, the Olympia Bay? Were you in the kayak as well, just like birds? I was in the kayak. What? I, I, re- I remember either in the, in the you Sound? or or Bird being in a kayak. Yeah, in the Puget Sound. You saw you saw wait you saw me in the kayak. Is that what you said? No, no. I remember us talking to you. Um, it, it was like last week or a week and a half ago or something. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, last Friday, a week ago. Yeah. Ah, wow. And and so you said that you were about to get in the kayak or something. Is that like why that. it's Boats Day? Might be. Oh, maybe that's why it's boat day. Wow. It's a good day. You know, um, we just, I, er, earlier today, I took a bike ride out around um, Capitol Lake, and I found this sign that said uh, something about, uh, man, some kind of snails. Maybe they're, they're kind of, some kind of, like, crazy snails that live in Capitol Lake and the, the Chutes River next to the Capitol Lake. And you're not allowed to boat there. They say don't boat there because these snails will get on your boat and then they'll, like, get into other spots, too. Oh, man. I heard about those snails. They're, I think, from New Zealand or something? In the New Zealand mud snails. They, they are. Yeah. They're, like, uh... Invasive kind of species? In New Zealand mud snails. Are invasive, mud I snails. believe. Yeah. I, th- I think the term They're is They're really invasive. small. I, I went in there and tried to check them out, and I can't even see them. Oh, hey, it's time for a commercial break. Can you hold on for a minute? Four. Yeah, sure. Two. One. 
New Moon Cafe, yum. Dance only dance. Dance only dance. Live TV dance party. First Friday of each month, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. TCTV Studio A. 440 Yager Way. Oh, yeah. Brown Interior Limited presents Private Memory. Still Meadow album. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that video. I like when you have to say new and new. Coming up in the next episode of the program of your daily hour with me. Yeah. Woo, yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Good um, times. The Good times. Episodes and program is talking about carrots, and this is my first day of watching Tara from, you know, uh, I, I watched her like for one day. I don't know. Uh, like <laughs> three months ago, but now she's back. So um, for two, three consecutive days. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> VHS. <gasps> Look at that. I got in the circle. That was awesome. Gravy boats. Yeah, or what kind of boats are there? There's a uh, boats. You know, like boats. I think those things, like the the things that you get, like t- French fries and tater tots at cafeteria, those were boats too, right? But they got to be shaped the right what way. What about the those things you put butter in? Is that a butter boat? Butter boat. It's gotta be like similar. It's like gotta be sh- that shape, like a like. Did you say a gravy boat? Is yeah. that the first thing you said? Yeah, gravy boat. Yeah. And then like, the, I remember that they put their fr- fries and tots in a boat in the cafeteria back in, uh, I guess school, and I think they. Yeah. They have, but a boat has to be like longer than it is like wide, so it can't be like a bowl. It's almost like a bowl, but a boat. It makes it a little different. Right. It's boat shaped. Um, how's the uh, production end going there? I would say the production end is going really good. I got everything up to, I think, yesterday's episode even captured. Wow. But yesterday, today is, oh no, I guess I don't have Thursday. I got up to Friday, or up to Wednesday, and we have up to Tuesday scheduled on TV, and also Tuesday, up to Tuesday turned into COA, um... And then actually, I've got this big batch of YouTube episodes that's exporting in my house right now. So when I get back home, they'll be all ready to go. And I'll just put them up on the internet, and we should be good. Um, should be good to go. All well, cut up. I, I thought it was interesting that I, I saw you downtown uh, before coming on the program. That was a synchronistic feature that the off universe like. Small town, really, though. Well, yeah. In one way or another. I have another production. Yeah, I thought that was that was exciting and unique too. But I have another production and thing that I uh, did, that I would like to mention, which is that um, I put the calendar, the daily hour calendar, back up on the website, and it has the days. So if you uh, look on the day, you can see which theme day it is on the calendar below the um, episode so, to watch. So, Joe, Joe, if you're watching what this, what theme day it is, and you know what to call in about. Specifically to Joe, Carl's friend. Maybe Carl, you can tell him because he doesn't want us to call him back. But he's been asking about that. So Joe, Carl's friend, if you're watching this specifically, what's the? Where's the calendar on the website? Ydhwm.com. Look at the bottom of the page, and you can just use it to look at whatever you want, whatever day of the week it is. That's all yeah. As long as you guys keep me updated, do you have any new themes coming up? I know we got. I think we're good through. Maybe like VHS day or the day after that? The day after VHS day is forgetting day. Yeah, I got forgetting day, but I, uh, I guess I forgot. And then sun, sun, uh. Sunday, Sunday is rodents. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then the, that Monday is the day that we don't have. And then after that is oh. Canada, Canada day. I feel like I called in about a day that's coming up. I don't know. I think we should make that day like, like dude, I'm going to say Jupiter Day just because for Dan. Jupiter Day. Okay, make it Jupiter Day. And then, but what about the one that's before 4th of July? We need to give that a good theme. The one that's before 4th of July? Because 
Fourth of July. It's just Fourth of July. That's what I put for that day. You know for this. The, the, July Fourth is Fourth of July. Or it, just, yeah, for or the, the July day, July Fourth. July Fourth. So should Twenty Six be like Independence or like America or something? No, I can't think of anything. For the third. No, I meant I meant the twenty sixth. Yeah, whatever day it is that. A week before the 4th of July. Yeah, well, that's the 27th, and that day is 4th of July. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was confused. I thought the 4th of July was called 4th of July. No, 4th of July uh, special is the 4th of July on the 27th. 4th of July is... Got it. Not... That makes sense. Okay, good. Yeah. I... Of... Okay. They call it Independence Day and stuff, but we'll get. I guess we'll get to that on the 4th of July actual day. Uh, we need to get tapes. We're out of tapes. Oh, yeah, I'm going up to Seattle on Sunday, on and I'll get some tape. On Sunday. Sunday. You know, we actually have we have a stack of unboxed tapes at the old studio. Um, I can move those over tomorrow the, and make sure that they're I mean, there, there are, tape. there are, we're left, we're down to the all the, the blank tapes that I don't want to tape over as much, I guess. No, 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 we're not. We've got actually, like, a box, or we got, like, Several stacks. I would say we have about like 30 tapes of movies that don't have boxes that are stacked on that um, old uh, bookshelf back there. Ah. They don't have like cases for them, so they don't look like they're actual TV movie. Or they don't look like they're actual like movies, but they are. And so I'll bring those over and put them on the uh, on the organ, and then they'll they'll work at right. least to get us through to the next spot. Great. That sounds great. Hey, uh, uh, yeah. Freddie, thanks for uh, putting that calendar yeah. on the website. That That's a yeah. nice feature. Thanks, guys. And, uh, I'm probably going to go, but, man, boats are cool. I wish I could. I want to say more about boats. I guess my dad built boats. And, uh, uh, say, what about boats? You can float on the water. Someone said once that there's nothing better in life than, like, messing around on boats. You know, got to get out on the water, float around, paddle about. I think we should do an episode of the program from a boat someday. This would have been a good one to do it on, but too late now. So. Wow. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you program. Keep on moving through time. Bye. There it goes. Sounds good. I don't know. I think, I think last time I was on a boat was for the wedding. A wedding. Sean. Sean's wedding. If you guys remember Sean, he was coming on here. In the first couple of years of the program. Where do you go off to? He's in Seattle now. But I was on a boat. There's that song. Like, I'm on a boat. People like that song, right? You remember that song? I think you made the yeah, joke towards uh, that song. Connie West or something. <laughs> Kane? Well, he's... Kane? You talking about Kane West? Yeah. Uh, do I have my artists m- mixed up or... I probably do. This it's alright. The Lonely Island featuring T-Pain. Here we go. Let's call... Uh, I don't have MTV at home, so that's my excuse. Let's call Leah Hawaii. McDonald's. Say, hey, McDonald's. How you doing? You guys got any of those... Boat? You guys got any fry boats? Orange milkshakes. Fry boat? Fry boat? Fry boats? Fry boats? Hmm. I'm looking for a fry boat. You got one? Are you sleepy? Your Mountain Dew is losing its effect. Well. Oh, you didn't even drink enough of it. You got to chug that. Yeah, and then I start belching. Like Homer Simpson. Come on, man. Come on, man. I don't know if this McDonald's is going to answer out there in Hawaii. Darn it! We need to get another number. You think they've figured us out? I don't know that they can read our cue cards. No. That is, of course, a joke, because we don't have cue cards on the program. Line? Yeah. You mean thoughts by cue cards? Yeah. Please enter your remote access code. Uh, I tried to guess the remote access code. I don't think I got it. 
Maybe, maybe you were only supposed to enter in two digits. So yeah, who knows? When they entered four, it was like breaking the system. Did you hurt yourself? What'd you do? Oh, uh, Carl hurt himself. Carl hurt himself trying to do the dice game somehow. Ow, he says. Ow. 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 Or what happened to him? Oh, we lost. And Fred didn't get a number, so everybody lost. Ow, he's saying. What, what happened, Carl? Carl's injured or something. Everybody lost. Who cares? 116531 uh, one, one, would have been the number to win today. Uh, yeah, sometimes uh, there's a muscle on the b on the back side of my knee or whatever, like the. You got uh, a trolley horse? Yeah, whatever that is. What's a trolley horse? It's when you like, yeah, you overstretch my, you know. Ugh. What happened when you bend around and stuff? No, uh, I I don't even know how it happened, but. I'm getting a trolley uh, horse. Oh, ouch. Try the horse. I love problems. Yeah? Maybe a little bit. What's your favorite kind of problem? Uh, my favorite kind of problem is... Not having the... No hey, McDonald's. Do you guys have the orange milkshakes right now? Uh, no, we don't. Oh, uh, do you know if you're going to be getting them in soon? Uh, we don't have we don't have the Oreo milkshake. No orange. I'm sorry, which one? Orange, like Arctic orange. Uh, no, we don't. And you're not gonna be getting it in? No. Oh, do you know what you're gonna be getting? You have like a calendar. It says where the food the next is. I'm sorry. You guys have like a calendar. It says when the food has been coming out and stuff. I'm not too sure. You're not sure if you have a calendar? I'm sorry? You're not sure if, if there's anything on the calendar or if you have a calendar at all? Uh, we don't, I don't think we have that at all. There's no calendar? How do you, how do you, you guys, they just send you stuff and you don't get to know when they're going to give it to you? I'm not too sure. Oh, okay. Hey, sounds great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a nice day. You too. There he goes. He was polite. He was polite, and he answered all the questions. Thanks, helpful McDonald's employee out there in uh, Kaneohe. 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 Well, good on you for speaking Hawaiian, because me, I'm like... Um, I can read. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> can you, can you read? Carl, you're, you're a literate person. You can read words. I'm just uh, reading the words. I, I'm, I'm somewhat literate in English. Uh, yeah. Hawaii, Hawaii is <laughs> part of, I think, I mean, it's, just a, it's just a word. You can, read, you can read words in other languages, too, you know, if they're written down. Oh, man. You're being way too generous in, in my favor. You can't read words. If you, I mean, you don't have to know what they say, but you oh, can man. just read them. It's a sound. You can't sound out stuff. No. How can you not sound out stuff? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm just like... I, you can do it. You just got to try. Have you ever tried? I, I'm, I'm somewhat weird, maybe. I'm not able to read? I think you could do it. I think you're not putting enough faith into yourself. I'm already saying that you can't do it. Something like that. Um, Aloha, Temple Valley McDonald's. Aloha. Hey, Aloha. do you guys have those orange milkshakes right now? Orange milkshake? Yeah. Yeah, oh, we don't have the Orange Dreams Co. anymore. Oh, uh, did right I just... Now we only have strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. Just like the regular ones? Did I miss it? Yes. Yeah, just the regulars. Oh, uh, when when did you guys stop making it? Did I miss it? Was it like last week or something? The orange one? Oh, yeah. We never had that since last year. Oh, so, so I haven't missed it yet. So maybe it's going to be coming out pretty soon again then, huh? Yeah, it's kind of seasonal. I think last year it came out like around October. Oh, really? That late? I thought it was going to be a summer thing. Um, not that I know of, no. Oh, uh, what's the summer milk? Just like the... Yes? I'm sorry? What's the summer milkshake going to be? Um, I don't think 
We don't have a summer milkshake right just, now. Just the regular stuff? Uh, maybe, can I mix yeah. them? Can you give me like chocolate strawberry? No, we usually don't mix. Oh, can you make an exception? Uh, I can. Oh, great. Thank you very much. Are you coming in today? Um, probably not today. Oh, okay. But I'll, right. I'll, I'll be sure to say something about it. Thank you very much. All right. You've been very you. helpful. Aloha. Hey. Bye. Mahalo. Mahalo. Uh, the, yeah, you, you, you did say something about it right then and there. What? To the whole rest of the world. So. About what? Oh, about, you know, the, the, the milkshakes, you know, like giving them a publicity. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's the, the unintended consequence that the person on the other side of the, the phone line didn't know that it was going to be, you know, she was on videotape, but. Mm -hmm. you know. She didn't know. They don't know. I mean, don't, they don't even know. They were calling them all. We've called yeah. thousands. Thousands. thousands, literally thousands, literally thousands of McDonald's. And they don't even know about it. Maybe I think still. Maybe has McDonald's found out? Did they? Are, are they? I think we're under the radar. I don't think if even if they did find out, I don't think they care. Knock and why would wood. they care when we get to keep saying their name all the time? I'm not gonna knock on wood. I don't need to have oh, any superstition. I'm uh, make my own luck. <laughs> That's okay. Maybe I ought to fist bump. Oh, yeah. man. Jeez. Live for yourself. Don't you need to do these things. <laughs> Just don't walk underneath a uh, ladder with a well, black I, cat crossing your path. I think that's it could be. I mean, I was going to say that either of those <laughs> things could be a dis dangerous in general, walking under ladders. Man. I try to not walk under ladders. I think if you see a ladder, you should probably walk around the ladder, really, because to avoid, you know, bumping. Or having stuff falling on you. Yeah. And... Then, if you're walking through a ladder, and then you a cat crosses your way, that I think would increase the odds of bumping the ladder and having stuff <laughs> fall on you. Yeah. So really, that seems like it's just like a dangerous thing to do for safety, and not maybe for just for. Uh, what if just uh, a cat crosses your path? Would you say, "Oh, I'm not going that way. No, I'm I'm going this other direction. Walk around the block, and then continue on your way, or what?" Uh, well, I mean, yeah, you don't want to disturb a cat unless it maybe, maybe it looks nice or something, but I think there is some, there is some kind of thing with black cats being shunned, or maybe, I think they were being, like, even, like, killed as sacrifices or some crazy, oh, yeah. like, by, like, magic or... Dream Salem like, or, or whatnot. Or, or even, even, like, even recently, there's something weird happened with black cats, so it's, like, hard to get them, or... Well, I think we're way too... Uh, superstitious for our own good but that's the end of the program thank you folks we went through another episode of the program of the illusion consciousness of dying and uh, thank you Freddy thank you Bird thank you Kenny thanks my pleasure thanks Carl thanks for being here today uh, did we call Mr. Ginsu nope okay uh, I'm not gonna thank Mr. Ginsu no, thanks to you thanks John and <laughs> Dan Dobler <laughs> yeah McDonald's? Yeah. Boats? Did you already do all this stuff? I'm just repeating what you said just a minute ago. Uh, Gilligan? Oh, yeah. Look, Carl's wearing a different clothes. Oh, that almost never happens. Yeah, well, hey, I got I got lazy and I just wanted to, um, you know, You're, give a little bit of those, style that's your lazy to the program. Your lazy clothes are more fancy than your work oh, clothes. man. Because the collar has a collar on it. And dress shoes, too, yeah. Uh, why, why is that? Is that your lazy clothes? I I just, I didn't want to change out of them, bro. Uh, well, your lazy clothes are fancier than your regular clothes. Since episode number and date, day of the week. Yes. 1364, TVs, yeah. 11.30 p.m. and 2 a.m. Bruh. Why do you use WM.com? Check it out. On TCTV. Thank you, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Three six zero eight three six four three eight four. Call, leave a message. Thanks, crew. You guys want to be on the crew? I'm doing things if you want, though. UFO FBI. Yeah. TCTV. Thank you. TheBaby.com. Check it out. It's like a feeling. Whoa. Jordy, fabulous. Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. Viewers and listeners. Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Woof woof. Aloha. Adios.